Yeah, why don't we do it that way? We'll start here. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, this is a recap of Composing in Multiple Dimensions, Part 25, Lot. In today's episode, we continued working with the Void Story score. We had some reflections. Uh, in particular, we added what we called passing, passing notes, which are these things you just heard, these little ripple sounds. And those are technically five-note passages here. You see the five notes here that complement the three-note chord that they go with. But they don't overlap each other at all. So as you recall, this is an eight-note scale. So if we have five notes plus three notes in the chord. That's eight notes. So it's kind of a pleasing musical representation of the void, which is the name of this chapter. In void, the void is everything, nothing. So in this case, it's all eight notes or it's no notes because they're all run together. So we did that. And we also added something we call the shimmer tone um, to the slower section down here. Sounds like this. Hear the contrabass? So basically we're adding a slow section to complement the fast notes here. Just like here, we added fast notes here to complement the slow. So we did that for these two chapters. We also kind of on the spur of the moment wrote a one-liner for the extend chapter is leaping into multiple dimensions without end. Now, how do we make that rhyme? We don't know yet. And then we spent a lot of time work continuing to work with our animation here. And you remember we had um, our concept diagram. We have void is a kind of an empty circle with stuff coming into it. Our energy diagram is when you zoom into the void, you see the Casimir radiation. It's below the Planck limit where things are so uncertain, energy is popping in and out of existence constantly. Uh, and then you have Distinguish, where we're now going to minor major musically. Um, in Energy Quantum, we talk about uh, they fit in perfect multiples of half wavelengths here. And then Extend is going into multiple dimensions, which has a XYZ alpha, beta, gamma across the top, and then a one down, one, 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 one that shows each one of those orthogonal dimensions. So that's our concept diagram. So we ended up saving, exporting all of these musical parts here, all of these musical parts. And my Lord, there are so many musical parts. We have the figure here, the cadence, the backbone, the polyphone, the passing the shimmer, and then of course the beat, which just goes. And so we exported all that and then we imported it into our animation. And then we are animating different parts of our scenes. Every part of our story has a scene. And what we're gonna do is show this to you. We're gonna play the whole composition and then that'll take us home. So here we go.
So that concludes today's stream. Our ideas for next time are to continue to work with the score. It needs an introduction. Um, some other tuning like timbres. Also working with the animation. Uh, have something to debug in there and we still need to tweak that last figure that you just saw. So thank you for your time, attention, curiosity, and interest. We look forward to seeing you in the next stream. Do come back. Do take care. Oh, shout outs to Reburn and Miguel. Thanks for stopping by. Do come back and do keep on streaming.